Do you ever wonder what your teachers are thinking? No, not really. Yeah, good. Not too hard. I think I'm about to lose it. I just actually pinch my own flesh to cause myself great pain to distract myself from my students. You don't want to know what I'm thinking. Let me put it that way. <laughs> When a student bothers me, I take him out on the balcony and I tell him that if he doesn't behave, I will throw his butt off the balcony. I am thinking, where is your brain plugged into? Because you know this is unacceptable. Oh my god, it's a question. My favorite thing about teaching is um, having that interaction with my students. You may write about whatever you'd like. <laughs> grading. I hate grading. Because you do this thing, same thing over and over. It's in constant change. It's not like I keep the same every year. How much is that? Everyone's like, either. In my date, I told, I'll tell her it's a love story. <laughs> so. Most students make me laugh in general because it's a foreign language class. So they're, they're trying to. Uh, they're trying really hard, but some of the stuff they say might be a bad word, and so it's like, oops. <laughs> but everybody else that's already speaks Spanish kind of gets it. But you know. It, when they actually turn it in, it really bothers me because then I have to grade it eventually. The rudeness. They walk in without saying hi. They leave without saying goodbye. When they ask about their grades, also irritating because then you have to know what their grades are, which means you have to have graded the homework that they turned in that you didn't want them to turn in in the first place. They um, pick their noses and then hand me stuff. When students sit on my desks, that is the number one do not do it is the biggest rule in my classroom because it endangers my students. Um, <laughs> what else do I hate? In psychology, chunking is putting things in a particular order. And uh, one of my students uh, on the test wrote that uh, chunking is a Chinese restaurant. When students ask questions during the middle of exams or during the middle of essays, Yes, Deepak. Um, does it have to be in English? Just lots and lots of questions about the essay. The essay? <laughs> yes, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Can I write my thesis in a different language? Uh, no, all English. Oh, okay. All together. Yes. <clears throat> Do I need to write this in pen or in pencil, or does it matter? I wrote my thesis in Italian last time, even in men. <sighs> That's also why you fail. <laughs> what, was the, what was the class average? Uh, is this essay over the thing that's on the prompt? Or is it on something we haven't read yet? Or is it on something we're going to read? Or is it on something we read last week? <laughs> Anybody else have a question about their essay before we start? <laughs> crazy questions, crazy questions. My number one thing is waiting till, I don't know, the day before grades are due and coming in, hey, what can I do for extra credit? Ooh. My hair just falls out when I do that, drives me crazy. <laughs> He's like, not more. <laughs> oh, I was just finished explaining something, and they're like, what are we supposed to be doing? <laughs> do we have to do it in Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> Does this have to be in Spanish? So, there's a lot of humor that goes along with this job. It's like, really? You know? <laughs> the use of the computer. I'm, I know some of them are not doing what they're supposed to do with that computer, and I have a problem with that. And by the time I'm finished breathing, I've usually forgotten what they were talking about, and I can go on. I think you're still talking about one of them. One of them was a good one. Kids these days with their crazy questions and colored pens. Just let it go. That's it. It's best I don't say anything to them. Ah, forget it. Time to go for a walk. <laughs>